Hey everybody, Scar here again, bringing you another stream tip video. In today's video, we're gonna be talking about streaming and beginner streaming equipment. So in today's video, I'm gonna go into like minor details and things, you know, how you can save money, especially starting off streaming, especially when you're very unsure whether or not you're gonna like streaming or not. Um, so my first tip is pretty much, if you already own a gaming console, that's pretty much the easiest thing to actually stream off of. It's not gonna cost you any extra. The console itself is built in with the streaming software and you can actually stream to a lot of your major streaming websites. So on PlayStation, I think you can stream to Twitch and YouTube. On Xbox, I think you can I, as well stream to Twitch as well as Mixer, which is a nice smaller platform to maybe get discovered. Um, and it's not gonna co cost you any extra. Uh, the other thing too that you may be able to do to, that's not gonna break the bank if you already own those things is then by, you know, if you're looking to maybe invest at least a little bit to start off the stream, you know, maybe invest in a decent quality microphone, something that's inexpensive, that's not gonna break the bank. I know Blue has a couple options. There's a Snowball microphone. I think there's the Blue Yeti. And then there's also um, the new Nano that just came out. Um, I'm sure you can buy a decent gaming headset from like Corsair, Turtle Beach, um, that aren't too expensive. I'm sure there's other ones out there like a Logitech microphone, things like that. You know, audio quality is gonna be your key thing that you may wanna invest in right off the bat. Um, just because people aren't gonna to wanna to be in a stream that's gonna sound scratchy, sound like the air conditions right on top of you when you talk, uh, pick up every single sound in the room, um, make it sound like it's scruffing against your facial hair if you have any or your face in general. Um, or pick up like, or be inside your mouth as you're talking. And then from there, the next thing you probably wanna invest in is like a cap, uh, a camera to capture your face and um, you know, as you're playing, so they captures your expressions, your emotion, your anger, all that stuff. A webcam is kinda key. It helps sell yourself before someone actually clicks on your stream. So someone may catch your thumbnail and look at you and then be like, oh, you know, maybe I wanna join in on that stream. So they're gonna click on your thumbnail because they see your webcam. There are many great options out there. If you're just streaming off of a console, you could pick up probably a Kinect or a PlayStation camera. I think the systems can also use uh, USB cameras. So, you know, there's a Logitech camera out there. I think it's like 40, 50 bucks. It's actually what I use. Uh, it streams in 1080, you know, captures uh, video quality in 1080p, 30 frames per second. And that's not gonna break the bank. It's only 40 to 50 bucks. I'll probably leave a link down below for that camera. But these are just a couple like very easy pieces of equipment that you can invest in very early that aren't gonna break the bank. So if you decide later on the road that, you know, hey, I'm not gonna stream anymore. Um, you know, it's it's not like you invested a whole ton. Um, the other thing too is what happens is uh, when people stream, they see these, you know, big time streamers and they have like all the bells and whistles. They have nice overlays, nice graphics. Uh, you know, this bang, this banging microphone that pick, that sounds like gorgeous, that sounds like smooth like butter every time that person talks. Um, you know, they, they're streaming from like, they have four screens and three, you know, uh, two, mi two mice, uh, a second, you know, computer to stream off of. They're streaming at 1080p quality, 60 frames per second. Thing looks crisp. Um, when you're first starting off, you don't need those things and you shouldn't need to invest in those things right off the bat. Sure, over time you can be built to that, but right off the beginning, you don't need that. And, uh, and you know, that's the one thing that people think that they need to actually start. Sure, as time goes on, the barrier to entry may be a little bit tougher, you know, maybe that lesser window of having like crappy equipment to nicer equipment. But at the same time, too, as time goes on, uh, it's going to be actually easier to get to nicer quality very early. Whereas, say, back in the day, it was actually a lot rougher to actually have a really nice looking screen without really investing a lot of money. So if you actually were to look back six years ago, I'm sure a lot of streams looked really rough compared to how they look now. Um, but let me know what you think about, you know, streaming, you know, what budget things you may use that I may not have disclosed in this video down below in the comments. Um, let me know if this helped you, uh, you know, with, with your journey into streaming on your budget. Um, if you like these videos and um, want to see more videos, remember to slap that like button. If you uh, want to know when I post videos, slap that subscribe button, turn that, light, uh, that bell notification on, and I will catch you in the next video.